So these are a bunch of art books, I'll show you in a minute, um, that are related to anime, games, and then just general artists that I found at conventions. Um, and I will just continue to show you now. So this one I actually got in a uh, a Blu-ray edition of Seraph of the End and it came with sometimes some games and some Blu-rays come with art books and this is one of them and I just thought I'd give a little flick through of this one so it shows you the different characters and then it has some different like headshots and stuff vampires if you're a fan of Seraph of the End I'm sure you'll enjoy this I love Ferret actually she's probably one of my favorite characters from this anime um, and I just find it quite interesting to have these little like backstories of them and little snippets about them um, I love Crawl she's really cool and it's nice to get inspiration from these I know they're like mostly based on like animes and you get shots from the the uh, actual anime but sometimes when you want to get inspiration just looking through these books for like characters for your D&D or any for any of your like upcoming comics and stories it's very useful so we've got some kind of uh, looks like a Q&A with one of the people who created Seraph of the End here so that's very interesting that we get some like more details into that and then let's have a look and then we've got like a gallery of various photos artworks from various people and then I, what i like about this is the kind of the background images and scenes i find them quite nice to look at to get inspiration for backgrounds and artwork and it's very kind of dystopian future-esque kind of like rundown buildings and like apocalyptic scenes in this one so that's that one and then from a game that people might have known uh, this is the Fire Emblem Awakening art book that came with the special edition game now I actually didn't get the game of this I ended up buying this off eBay because I love the game but um, I just didn't get a chance to get the special edition <laughs> and again very similar to the Fire Emblem but this is slightly smaller just kind of goes through the characters have a few sketches of the characters um, for the same purposes it's just it's just nice to look through especially if you're like um, a fellow like fan I say fangirl fanboy whatever of the series it's just one of those nice items to have in your collection and to get inspiration off. See, so yeah, it's quite small, it just has the characters and a few sketches, and that's about it. Um, but pretty good for what you get. And then I have this one here. Um, now, this is from an artist called Hannah Alex. Hannah Anna. Hey. Well, I can't talk. Hannah Alexander, and basically, uh, she just draw re makes beautiful artwork off based off different characters. So a lot of like Disney inspired, game inspired, whatever you can think of really that she's into. She'll probably do outfits in this beautiful style. And I bought this off her Etsy shop, and she does occasionally go to Comic Cons as well, where you can purchase these. And I do believe there is a, yeah, this is volume one, but you can get volume two now, I believe. But yeah, again, I won't show you all of these, just so if you do want to see these beautiful designs, I'll just skim and show you a few. You can purchase her book on her store to see the full book. But yeah, these are just beautiful artworks. I did, because I cosplay and I enjoy costumes, um, I did pick this up to try and get some design and ideas and 
obviously we're allowed to cosplay any of the things in here so that was my main reason of purchasing this oh i love these avatar ones of Korra and asami and i'll just show you this one here it's very useful to see because she actually writes down the certain things that she was inspired by when creating these um outfits that's very useful for cosplay it shows you different like sections of like how you could create it here and the style and then i got these two at hyper japan quite a few years ago um and the artist's work is so lovely and obviously we signed by the artist as well and she drew this in like literally like a couple of seconds and i don't know how but it's amazing and these are just so detailed. The colours, everything of these are so pretty. And these ones are all based off different um, crystals. So we've got Snowflake Obsidian here. Few of the sketches here for the actual artwork which is really really pretty so we have that one which is and then we have birth jewelry here again i think we got this one signed yeah again with a beautiful drawing as well These are based off the birth month stone. So we have March Aquamarine, April Diamond, May Emerald, June Pearl, and we've got Ruby for July, August Perig, September Sapphire, Opal October. Oh, this is stunning. Look at the colours. November Topaz. Ooh, this one's pretty. I love the like kind of tarot cards on this one. So this is December Turquoise Lapis Loop. Oh, I, I'm not even going to attempt to try and butcher that. And then a few of the sketches here. So I have a few more um, anime related ones. So I've got this Yuri and Ice one I picked up at Comic Con again a couple of years ago. And what I like about this is all of the drawings inside of here are not coloured, but they are the kind of like sketches. Now there are so many pages here, so I can't really show you everything, but I'll show you a few. And I just find this really useful for using in your own artwork if you need references, or just want if you want to practice any kind of like eyes, glasses here, how show you how it's positioned on the head. I just find this very, very handy. <laughs> like, so we've got a mobile phone. Again, if you're a fan of the show Yuri on Ice, then this is kind of a must have thing. It shows all the different characters and all their different outfits. Very useful study material. But yeah, I just really love flicking through this and kind of getting some sort of inspiration or reference for anything that I'm drawing in my own artwork. But yeah, it's a very good book to have in my collection. And then I have this one which is based off Alice in the Country of Diamonds. And this is mostly a manga based one, but it's also a game, I believe. And I got this again at a convention in Japan, in, Japan, in London. <laughs> I wish in Japan. And just has a bit of like manga, kind of all the different characters and the choices in the game. And what I like about this is it shows all of the different uh, backgrounds. Like here you've got the Hatter Mansion. And just a little bit with the characters. 
and then it has different facial types on here which I've found useful showing like you know angry sad amused shocked for all the different characters so if I'm ever struggling with my own characters of how to perceive a certain emotion it's always good to come to this book because it actually shows you all different ones um, for each character and you can kind of find one that fits similarly to your character and just have a look and play around and then we got some more artwork here so that's that move that to the side now i have two books about um, from this anime called uta no prince sama uh, it's one of my all-time favorite animes it's very kind of like happy uplifting animes and it's kind of like an idol k-pop like k-pop poppy kind of like j-pop any of those kind of things if you like them then you'll enjoy this anime so i've got this one that has all of the cell artwork i like this little cat and again similar to all the other ones i've said previously it's just good to, to come to get references from or just pr like practice any different kind of poses and stuff for your own artwork. So there's that one, and then the second one I have is more coloured, and it just has more artwork of the characters in this one. Let me try and get a better picture there. I do believe this came with a poster as well and some lovely bookmarks. And then I have, I am a big fan of Overwatch, so I got this Art of Overwatch book. And I'll just show you a bit of this, but it's quite bulky. I can show you the thickness of this. Um, I probably won't be able to show you every single page in this book, but I'll just skim through so you get kind of a gist of what the art's like. I've got some nice like concept art of the characters Widowmaker and Tracer here. It has all the little sprays in the game. And all the different skins that you can get or could have got it has a few concept arts of the characters when we get further in so here we've got Widowmaker and this could have been one of her designs so I like seeing the concept art similar to my first video of art, book, art books part one with the Marvel ones, it, it's nice to see the concept artwork behind the characters and what could have been and see the process of how the artists got to the final stage This is really cool to see all the different art for Reaper and the early ideas. Genji's one of my favourite characters. And look at all the different mech designs for Diva. It's very interesting to see. And that's so that's the R of Overwatch book. And then one of I think it's one of my recent purchases uh, is the Chronicles of Exandria. So this is the Mighty Nine Critical Role uh, D and D role playing group 
that I watch and love and adore. Um, and they basically compiled a lot of artists um, who have created fan art of their characters into this book. And it's just something that I absolutely love. And the quality of this book is great. They have a section here about all of the characters in the show. So we have like Beauregard here and it goes through artwork of all these beautiful artists that have created. Molly Mork is my favourite. And look at some of the artwork that you get in here, it's just stunning. I won't show you all of this because, again, it's a very big book, so I'll just flick through. Again, it's good to come for like kind of references or like if you want to draw any interpretations in your own style of the characters, you can always get different viewpoints in this book and get information about them. And I do believe they have art books, I think two for their uh, previous campaign, campaign number one, Vox Machina. Uh, whereas this is the Mighty Nine one. But yeah, such beautiful artwork in here. There is a really pretty picture of Yasha that I was kind of wanted to show you. Ah, here. This. The colours and the florals of this are beautiful. 